Hello, this is David Skull from Roaring Penguin Technical Support. In this video, I demonstrate how to use our ISO image to turn an Intel PC or server into a Canet appliance. First, download the ISO image and burn it onto a CD. Next, install the CD into your machine and boot, making sure to boot from the CD-ROM. The boot screen will appear. At the boot prompt, hit Enter. First you'll be asked which language to use for the installer and the installed system. If you happen to speak English, we recommend hitting the home key and choosing C, no localization, rather than English. This reduces the size of the installed image. Next, pick the continent in which your server is located, and then the country. Finally, pick the keyboard type that's connected to your computer, in this case, American English. If you have a DHCP server, the installer will automatically configure networking. If you do not, it will prompt you to enter the IP address information manually. Next, it will prompt you for the root password. It's extremely important to pick a hard-to-guess password because a compromised root password means a compromised machine. It's really important to make this hard to guess, so if you pick something that's too hard for you to remember, write it down, but don't pick something that's easy to guess. If you have more than one disk in your system, you'll be prompted as to which disk should be used for the installation image. This system only has one disk, so they, the installer automatically installs on that disk. Now it's installing the base system. This may take a few minutes, so we'll just let it run. After installing the base system, the installer installs the Canet specific components. Here it asks you for a password for the setup user. The setup user is similar to root, but instead of having a command line shell, it has access to a, a text-based interface for configuring the appliance. The setup user is quite powerful, so again, pick a hard to guess password. And this installer continues installing the rest of Canon. When it gets to about 94%, it pauses because at this point it's doing an awful lot of setup for Canon. It's initializing the database, setting up all the components, editing a number of configuration files to make them optimal for Canon. So don't worry if the installer seems to pause for half a minute or so at 94%. It is actually working. Finally, the bootloader is installed on the, on the main uh, disk and installation is complete. At this point, eject the CD-ROM and hit continue to reboot your machine. It will reboot as a brand new Canet appliance. Thanks for watching.